hey beautiful people and welcome back to my channel in today's tutorial i'll be showing you guys on how to make this beautiful dress if you are new to my channel you're welcome if you're my old subscriber you're welcome back please make sure you click on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so as to get notified once i upload a new video so let's get started <music> having here is my basic bodies that I have already drawn out in which I'm having my neckline, my bust line, my bust points, my underbust, my waist and my basque measurements which is 27 from the shoulder. So I have drawn out my basic body that in which I'll be taking my marker pen to trace it out. So I've traced out my dad and this is what I'm having. Now here I forgot to do my shoulder dad in which I'll go ahead to do later afterwards. But first, after you've drawn out your basic bodies and you have your dad, you are going to slash that dad, like the midpoint of the dad, which is a uh, nipple to nipple measurement. You just slash through the middle of the dart like so and then you close the dart you close the shoulder dart so i'll go ahead to close my shoulder dart like so and the next thing i'm going to be working with is the neckline i already have the wideness or how deep i want my neckline to be so i'm just going to be connecting it to the shoulder measurement and the shoulder measurement I'll be using for this dress will be three and a half at the shoulder. And the deep or the depth, the depth, the depth of the neckline is going to be seven. So I'm going to be connecting the depth and the width together. Again, I'm working with the width of three and a half and I'm working with the depth of seven. So... After that, I go ahead to cut it out. And the next now will be doing now. But first of all, let me just zoom in my camera so that you can see what I'm doing at the underbust side. Now, to create the neckline design, I'll be working with my underbust. So, I'll be drawing out the star line from my underbust then from that underbust i'm going to connect it to the neckline like you see me do here so after that i'm going to take my scissors and then i will be cutting it out So this is what I'm having, looking nice and beautiful. So I'm just indicating what I need to cut and I just label it. I'm going to be cutting two pieces and I'll be cutting it on fold. And then I'll be, I'll keep the upper parts aside and I'll work with the lower part of this dress. So now, we are going to be eliminating the dart, meaning I'm going to be closing the dart because if you check the dress very well, you will see that we did not have any dart. So now, in order to eliminate the dart, I'm just going to rule out the half an inch I took from the both side. I'm going to be ruling it straight like you see me do, and I'm going to take my scissors and then I'll be cutting the excess away. So I'm going to take my scissors now and I'll cut the excess away because I will not be needing any of that. 
so after cutting the darts i'm going to take my paper tape and then close the darts like you see me do make sure you do this before cutting the bask so that you won't run into any problem when you are cutting it out on your actual fabric So after that, I will be working with the basque of this dress. So to work with the basque, I'm going to be taking my measurement from that 27 inches I measure from the shoulder measurement. So you can make yours V, you can make it curve, you can be creative, you can design it any way you want or any how you want it. But as for me, I'm going to be creating a curve let's see if the curve will be okay for me so i'm using my pattern master to get the shape and i was unable to do that so i'll be using my free hand to create the design i want so i think this look perfectly fine for me in but i'll be i think i'll be changing this to v let's see so i finish with the front part of this tutorial i'll just keep this aside now and then i'll be working with the back part of this dress so now this is the back part of this dress the first thing i did the first mistake i did at this back part was that i did not slash the waist that and i did not close the shoulder that if you are to cut your own the first thing you are going to do is just to repeat the same process we did for the front you have to repeat it to the back part as well. You have to splash the waist that, then close the shoulder that before you draw out the next um, next tie line. So yeah, I totally forget to do that. So please make sure you do that when you are cutting your own, so that you will not do you not repeat so that you will not repeat the same mistake I did here. I'll be using this pattern paper now to cut out my fabric so I'll cut the fabric sew it and come back to show you guys the final outcome of this tutorial and of this dress so guys so this is the final outcome of this dress if you enjoy please make sure you subscribe like share turn on the notification bell and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.